I started doing the whole Robo Wars thing probably grade nine, so what's that, 10, 11 years ago. Um, wasn't really any reason or anything for doing it, it just was there. So this is what sort of sits on top of that. So that's how it looks when it's all together. It's called a Naked Turtle. So I bought this off one of the other guys and then made it work properly. But, uh, and then I renamed it Naked Turtle because I'd never seen a naked turtle. So I thought I wanted one. <laughs> when I grew up, I was sort of always out in the shed every night building something. Whereas people don't really do that anymore. They, everybody's in, in, the, in the room playing computer games all night or on Xbox. And it's just not really the same sort of culture where you can go out and build stuff. So we found these magazines that, that had uh, robot combat in them yep. from no, we'd uh, never heard of it. Before. Never heard of it. And this is like 10 years after it was popular and on TV, we missed it. So we didn't know anything about it. And then yeah. we thought... Well, we looked up on uh, YouTube and saw that uh, there was robots in Brisbane. So that's how we got onto this, yeah. And got the forum and met Steve and the other guys. It's, a we it's weird, isn't it? We don't understand why there's not more people doing it. Because everyone you talk to goes, Wow, I saw that on TV, you know, that's awesome, I'd love to do that, but they just never do. I guess at the moment the most immediate thing is we're trying to run, set up a bit of a promotional event to try and take some people who have competed in the past and have decent robots and we can go just set up somewhere and show off and try and get some new competitors. So encourage people to get excited and build their own. That's the plan, whether or not that works is... <laughs> Another question, but that's that's always the, it's always good to have a plan. Okay, so we're just coming up to Miles and Jules' house. Hello. Too bad yours is a bit cleaner in here than Miles's, oh, Miles's workshop. Just had to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on? The little fella still? Uh, well, I am trying to trying to get another little um, a little spinner to go, a little baby wonder. I guess we're artists all the time. We're always making. If we're not making, we're researching. But for us, hands-on is so important. And there's so so many people out there that are hands-on people that don't really have that niche they find to to use it. Mm. I suppose there's a lot of distractions now, isn't it? There's computer games and mm. internet just, and Facebook. It's kind of uh, cool to have that outside the computer um, connection. <laughs> So the other day me and Miles went out trying to look at some locations. Um, we sort of went around to a few, I guess what you call it, abandoned stores or shop fronts, just seeing if we could hire one out for the day. Went into a couple of real estates and asked a few questions, but nobody was really seeming that positive as to actually giving us a space. So that sort of was a bit worrying to start off with. We just happened to wander into the Riverlink shopping centre. We were like standing at the door, umming and ahhing about whether we should go in. And Miles was like, oh, well, we'll just do it. Told them about what we do. And it just so happened that they had their big uh, anniversary in a couple of weeks, which worked out really well. Should have quite a few thousand people through on the weekend. And yeah, it's looking pretty interesting.
saw on the board, we thought I had something to do. One of our friends told us it was, it was on and having a couple of boys, they wanted to come and check it out. I can see a lot of potential, a lot of ideas that could spring from this, yeah, these sort of activities. I've got five grandchildren. They can't sort of interact with the environment really, really easily. A lot of people don't have the time, I guess, these days, so it's easier to play PlayStation than go to the time and effort and spending money to making things with their hands. We usually play on Netflix, Halo. I mean, when I think back and we made trolleys or something like that and raced them down a hill. Using their mind to solve problems and make things in thinking outside the box, I think that's very important. I think creativity has always found its expression in the means of the day, and I think this is just another one. Um, I mean, you can look at these machines as being sort of mini moving sculptures. Creativity is, uh, is the best path to sanity. If, uh, if you can keep using your hands and your brain and keep your body active, then uh, life's just too short. Yeah, so today went pretty well, I think. Um, everything ran quite smoothly. We had lots of good fights, and I think the people who were watching enjoyed it. The more we can try and get it out there, and I know the guys have been trying to probably do that for years, but I just feel like people will want to get back to getting out of, in front of computers and making. So this is probably the, the most public exposure we've ever had, so yeah, it looks good. It's starting to pick up. Oh, it's, got a, it's got a big future. We won't let it die. No. But I think it's only up from here. <laughs>